Hello, Benny Finn here. I'm making an unscripted video about Camrande Legends, uh, uh, MT uh, Goldfish just uh, released the entire deck list uh, of the precons, and I thought I'd go over them and talk about uh, Commander Legends a bit uh, since I've been a bit more active in the MTG community. The first uh, Commander Legends is the Reach the Tide, uh, a Siri Tyrant of uh, Gaia Strait. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, Landfall was released. It's, uh, you can take this to a Landfall deck, a Green Blue uh, Simic, which would be great. Uh, uh, with, with so many new Landfall cards released, uh, I don't know the. Let's check the translation of the. Coiling Oracle. When Coiling Oracle is the of your top card of your library, if it's a land, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put that card into your hand. So, this deck, so many landfall cards that you can put in here, and there are already landfall cards like the Ryan Realm, the Excavator. You may play a land, la may play land cards from your graveyard. So, that's a huge bonus. Uh, and it's a it's a great pecan. It's twenty five dollars on Am Amazon, uh, and the entire total right now is uh, of all the cards, and that is uh, roughly around seventy two dollars. If you want to buy these all as singles, a uh, few cards that I would take out would, if there would definitely go more of a landfall strategy. Uh, take out the Restodon, uh, Storm, uh, Leviathan. And the Sleem of Vard guys indeed, they're just pretty expensive cards. Uh, I may be leaving the Elder Deep Fiend, even though it's expensive, it's a murder. And which cost is you may cast this card by sacrificing a creature, and just playing 7 is a bit better than 8, and when you cast it, it tap up to 4 target permanents, so it's okay. Uh, and they're just like, uh, Lots of, like, uh, Trench Hope Behemoth is interesting to turn a land to its own hand, untap the Trench Behemoth and against gains Hatsproof and a land in battlefield under your control. So a creature and opponent control is attached during its control and its combat phase of Fable. So it's an interesting deck, a bunch of high cost, cost cards, but I would, this deck uh, is definitely just a uh, take out some of the cards and add in there's so many Simic cards that you can add in if you even if you don't want to go landfall you could add Tatiovova whenever land is the battlefield under your control you gain one life. Um and with just these you could even just uh make uh one of the top Simic commander decks and just buy uh a series the Trident Gaia straight or by the precon and a slot a few of those cards in there uh would be good like they got a few uh commander staples like men power soul ring squidward boots simic signet that's a it's a uh, definitely a bit better than the Zenicar rising uh uh precons but and it's nice that it's at a low value, and so not like the other commander products in the past, which were uh, like around sixty dollars and and more, depending on what the MSRP was back in the day. I don't know too much about that, but yeah, these ones are nice and uh, budget friendly for new commander players and even uh, experienced uh, commander players. Get a hold of cards like Avenger of Zendikar, uh, and that's a great card. And yeah, uh, there's uh, Simic is get so many great cards, so it's just easy to build a Simic deck. Uh, you could build a uh, you could probably build a Fufix uh, God of Horizon deck or it, whatever you want. They just uh, eat, like Kiana Border Prodigy. Whenever you tap a non land tournament, 
for mana, add one mana of that any type. And yeah, as they're getting better, I like how this one's a little bit balanced because of its costs, uh, uh, it costs about, it costs seven uh, to cast, uh, but you cast it on, uh, try and cast it early with all the Una the Goat, like uh, Magic Christmas Land, try and cast it on, uh, with the soul wings in your hand uh, and some ground spells, uh, cast, try and cast it for turn four. And, and then you get to play another land and uh, have about uh, some and have a, a bunch more mana after turn four. To cast some big spells, uh, you... and then that's a uh, deck is Commander Legends Arm of Battle. Uh, the worth of this of the Soul Steel. Uh, it's a uh, nice uh, artifact uh, equipment and aura deck. So, uh, it's nice, but for us, what it normally does. Uh, it's not as. Uh, doesn't have the such a high price take uh of the cards and it. it's not so flashy but it's still got decent value you could buy all the singles for sixty four dollars from uh uh MTT MTT goldfish or even buy the pre thorn on Amazon for twenty five dollars so that's like a uh, nice value uh it's got also, the Explorer, when Oaks is the Explorer, and Spellerfield, Church the Lightway 4, up to X planes, cards where X is the number of players who control more lands than you. Get those cards and put them into your hand. So, it's uh, if you're going last in the in in the ground, it's great, because then definitely everyone will most likely have more lands than you. Uh, Uh, Relic Seeker, Swarm Senior, Artificer, so it's nice that this got a reef, uh, nice that this got a reef print. Whenever you cast on or equipment or vehicle, draw a card. Basquire, Artifact Equipment, you attach an Artifact or Equipment you control. You target creature you control, so it's nice. This is definitely more of a Voltron. Uh, style commander with artifacts and auras, and uh, compared to the last uh, uh, card that was added in, there we go, uh, uh, uh like, uh, let's see. Or is it? It's a QE Fearless Voyager in Zendiko Rising. Whenever you attack, this one was a bit more go wide strategy and not so much as this artifact uh, or commando. While the Soul Steel is pretty much to get as protected as much as possible and make it big, is one of it attacks, you draw a card for each aura and then equipment attached to it. And it's got uh, some uh, d decent artifacts in here. Like Explorer's Scope, whenever you put the creature attack, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield attached. And uh, Soul Ring, uh, a Black Blade of Horrors, if the creature gets plus one one for each land you control. Uh, Blazing Sun Steel, a quick creature gets plus one zero for each opponent you have. Whenever a quick creature is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to any target, so that's nice. Uh, Boris Signet is definitely needed. Uh, and that's there's some great some protection like Massive Avacan. And, uh, Different abilities like giving a bit of villagers with Spring of Dune, Swiftwood Boots, Fire Shaker, which creature has double strike, a haunted cloak, Luxor and Warhammer, and uh, definitely needed in any 
Boros equipment deck, uh, Sun Forger, Equip Creature plus, plus 4 for 0. And you can play a red and a white untapped Sun Forger, search your library for a red or a white instant card. Convert the mana cost to 4 or less, and cast that card without paying its mana cost, then shuffle your library. Uh, cuts a few enchantments, like if Stingry Aid may cast uh, or an equipment spells as though they had a flash. I uh, would take a, maybe a few of the ores and enchantments out, maybe four more equipment or stuff to you be equipped to or backouts if what a seal gets removed or something. Uh, there's a, a lot of instants like this uh, condemn, return to attack creature to the bottom of the opponent's libraries, draw against life with sweet stuff next, expedite. Target creature gains haste. That probably can come out for something else. Swords to flash here. And upgrade. Uh, use the damage to target creature. Uh, destroy artifact. Boros charm. Comet. Comet storm. Multi kicker. Choose any target and then choose another target. Each time this spell was hit, common storm deals adds damage to each of them. So. It's a decent removal. Like there's lots of uh, decent removal in the instants and sorceries. A generous gift. Uh, wear and tear. And if you, uh, I recommend the, to pick these up uh, when they get released. Uh, uh, either or uh, e either them or both of them. They're great and. You can uh, add to them or just uh, play with them. Uh, it's a uh, they're pretty uh, good at a power level. I would say about around a six or a seven in power level deck. Uh, getting a bit better pays before uh, precons. Like this is still at precon power levels, but it's getting a bit better. And I hope you enjoyed the YouTube video. Leave a like and comment down below if you'd like to see more. And uh, the next one I'm probably going to be making is probably a deck tech around with the new Commander Legends. And uh, have a good day.